What is up internet? I'm the nice one and today I got another character modeling video for you. This time we're making a dwarf straight from D&D. &D. So sit back, relax, and let me make the mistakes for you. So D&D &D dwarf model. Pretty much it's going to be the same process that I've been showing you in my past videos. We're doing a low poly box modeling approach to this guy, starting with a typical cube and then going from there to build out the basic shape of his body. If you haven't seen my other videos, I'm following the same process here, you know, using the mirror modifier to duplicate on the other side, edge select in order to move the different vertices to the right positions, and then control R loop cuts and then control E slide edges in order to shape it out into a proper form. Something I did a little bit differently for this guy and that you'll see later on in the time lapse is how I made his beard. So instead of straight trying to box model a beard, I instead found a different technique where basically what you do is you create three main shapes, two circles and one line shape. The line shape will represent the strand and the two circles will represent the beveling of that strand at both ends. So when you set the ends of the line's properties to those circle bevel shapes, you actually get a nice cylindrical organic shape that's pointed at one end. This is a really great and really effective method of creating anime hair because you don't have to mod modify a bunch of different vertices. All you're really working with are two main vertex points, maybe three to four depending on if you add more vertices between the two ends. All you have to do is position the hair onto the head, change the end vertex so that it's shaping or curving nicely using the bezier curves, and then duplicate those lines so that boom, you have a full head of hair, or in this case, a full beard. So that's the only real different thing that I did here for this model. The rest of the process as you've seen before is pretty much box modeling techniques, mirror modifiers, and all that great stuff. I think I'm just going to leave it off to the time lapse from here on out. Leave a comment if you have a straight up question. I hope you guys liked the video. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice night.